Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Top Gun Maverick director says the U.S. Navy wiped his camera clean because he photographed something he wasn't supposed to capture. Now, Joseph Kaczynski um, and Tom Cruise is Pete Mitchell in the Top Gun Maverick. So the director said the U.S. Navy wiped his camera clean and um, they said he visited top secret military bases during the film's pre-production. He said he thought he photographed something he wasn't supposed to capture. Now, when Tom Cruise climbed back into the cockpit for Top Gun Maverick, the film's director, Joseph Kaczynski, was exploring the iconic pilot's life over 30 years after the 1986 movie. The 2022 movie has been hugely successful, raking in $1.48 billion worldwide, according to Box Office Mojo, thanks to its emotional story and gripping aerial action sequences part of the success is attributable to Kaczynski putting the audience in the jets with the pilots and he recently told Deadline that he worked closely with the U.S. Navy to make sure it was an authentic representation of the military the director also said that after one of his visits to a secret base the U.S. Navy confiscated his camera Kaczynski said so I gotta live that dream of being in the Navy for a couple years I got to go to places that civilians don't get to go to. I got to see things that no civilian would get to see. I had my camera confiscated at one point, wiped clean. The Tron Legacy and Oblivion director added that in his quest for authenticity, excuse me, authenticity, he thought he took a photograph of something he wasn't supposed to see. Kaczynski added, I took some pictures and maybe captured something I wasn't supposed to capture. And my camera was quickly returned to me without any photos on it. The director went on to say that it was a dream to collaborate with the U.S. Navy on Top Gun Maverick. Kaczynski said, I think you feel it when you see it because you don't feel like you're in a Hollywood designed setting. There's a reality to it. We collaborated with the actual engineers who make the real secret aircraft. It was just a dream come true. So... What did he capture so bad that they had to wipe his camera clean? Is it, you know, top secret bunkers? <laughs> Could it be top secret places where they hide their jets at? You know, what is it? You know, to wipe somebody's camera clean means that, man, that he really did something he wasn't supposed to do. And, you know... I want to know what it was because I believe, you know, I believe he saw something or took a photo of an area that we weren't supposed to see. Because you got to remember, there's places and parts of the world where we have not really discovered. People think we discovered it. I, we haven't. Or maybe we did. You know, but that's the thing. So, but the movie, as far as its visuals and everything that went down, man, was beautiful. Respected. I respect it to the highest degree, highest order. You know, I mean, the movie to me was movie of the year. Avatar came later. So Avatar might win it because of the visuals and everything. I think Avatar's visuals was great. But for that to be authentic and no CGI or, or nothing or anything, to me, it was the best movie of the year. So, you know, that's how I look at it. But what was taken? See, that's the thing. Like, everybody's asking the wrong question. Like, and he's just brushing over it like it was nothing. It's like, bruh, 
they just confiscated your camera. Like, I want to know what places of the world he took. Like I said, they could have something they're building over there. They could have something, you know, that's not from this world that could be there. That was a picture that was taken and probably was like, oh, man. You know, but, you know, it's anything, anything can happen, you know, anything in that situation. But I think it's very strange they would confiscate his camera and, and just wipe it clean. Like, if you're shooting a movie, it's like, why wouldn't you warn him ahead of time not to take certain pictures? But it's just very weird to me what's going on with that situation. But shout out to the um director. You know, shout out to, um, what's his name again? Yeah, Joseph Kaczynski. You know, he brought us a great film. Brought us some great things, you know. Really loved that. Now, excuse me. All right. Now, the U.S. Navy halts Iranian smuggling vessels. They find over 2,000 assault rifles. So, it's basically saying in the article, the vessels were smuggling weapons from Iran to Houthi rebels in Yemen. So, the U.S. Navy sees more than 2,000 assault rifles and they halted a suspected smuggling vessel on the way to Iran to Yemen. And this was announced Tuesday, I believe last Tuesday, I believe. The USS Chinook deployed a boarding team to the vessel in the Gulf of Oman with support from the USS Monsoon and USS the Sullivans on January 6th, discovering a crew of Yemeni nationalists, national, excuse me, I said the nationalists, excuse me, nationals. The U.S. confiscated 2,116 assault rifles and is in the process of repatriating yeah, repatriating the ship and its crew, according to a Navy statement. This shipment is a part of a continued pattern of destabilizing destabilizing activity from Iran, said Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, U.S. Fifth Fleet and Combined Maritime Forces. These threats have our attention. We remain vigilant in detecting any maritime activity that impedes freedom of navigation or compromises regional security. The Yemeni cruise ship was the third fishing vessel to be found smuggling lethal aid from Iran to Houthi rebels in Yemen since November. U.S. forces also seized more than 50 tons of ammunition rounds, fuses, and propellants for rockets on December 1st. USS the Sullivans, USS Hurricane, and USCG John Sherman also intercepted more than 70 tons of chemicals used to make rocket propellant and explosives on November 8th. Now, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so. Hold on. This article is tripping. I got to look it up. Uh, this happens on my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, my bad, y'all. I had to find the article because on my phone, for some reason, it stopped. So now, the U.S. Navy routine, re, excuse me, routinely patrols common smuggling routes. Excuse me, allergies, guys. Sorry about that. Smuggling routes in the Gulf of Oman. Iranian vessels smuggling weapons to Yemen must travel east through the Gulf before heading south to Yemen. International law in the United States nation security council ban the direct or indirect supply sale or transfer of weapons to hold the rebels in yemen now um pompeo says biden's iran talk squandered middle east stability putting us all at risk the u.s navy has a long history of interactions with iranian vessels 
in the area so well i mean as well three islamic revolutionary guard corps navy vessels irgcn confronted a u.s con convoy in the strait of hormuz or hormuz in june 2022 with one of the vessels closing within 50 yards of the uss sirocco one of the irgcn vessels approached sirocco head on at a dangerously high speed and only altered course after the u.s patrol coastal ship issued an audible warning signals to avoid collision the iranian vessel also came within 50 yards of the u.s navy ship during the interaction and sirocco responded by deploying a, deploying a warning flame a warning flare excuse me the u.s navy said of the incident now the U.S. warships fired warning shots at Iranian boats during a similar encounter in May 2021. So, so basically, pack. They're trying to move packages. You know, illegal smuggling. U.S. found out about it. Intervene as always. Um. 2,000 assault rifles. Crazy. Now, basically warning shots and everything, and um, they fired out there to basically turn them around. They were able to confiscate the things. Now, when they confiscate the weapons, are they going to put them back to reuse, or are they going to turn them in and do the right thing? <laughs> to me, I don't trust the U.S. and nothing. Like, this news at times is slanted, so we don't even know what's going on you know but um for them to stop that and everything it's still going to be smuggling weapons and everything because people got to understand the smuggling of weapons and war and things of that nature it's a business so when business and money's being made or exchanged they're going to keep doing it they're going to keep doing it Now, luckily, there wasn't no gunfire, no going back and forth with each other. Luckily, nobody lost their lives that we know of because, you know, they don't like to tell you everything. But, you know, I, I, I would like to see, you know, I would like to see more. How do I say I would like to see more efforts into the ecosystem as opposed as opposed into the war and you know the um the smuggling and the going at it over things i i just no i mean i'm just getting tired of it so you know so yeah but Joe Biden, I don't trust him to negotiate or anything. Does he even be knowing where he's at half the time? Because I don't think he does. I just think he's lost. He's an old senile man who should have never been president. As old as his ass is. So let me know in the comment section what you thought about the news this morning. Um, I'm going to try to do more of these, you know. When I get home, sorry, I haven't been hitting y'all with a lot of videos. Like I said, I work and they've been working me hard at work <laughs> long, you know, so I'm going to try to bring you guys more stuff. I, li I like to do a variety of things. I don't like to just talk about one topic. So thank you guys, man, for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you guys love what you hear, y'all can donate to the page. By going to my description box, hitting that link to my cash app where you could donate whatever your heart's desire. Um, and you guys can also super chat, you know, whenever we have a live or a premiere video, you can super chat. And you guys, you guys can also super thanks after the video is done and you go back to watch the video in your entirety. So thank you guys for your support and listening. We're out. Deezy.